right tyres. This is Doug, my 17 Royal Enfield Classic Chrome or Classic 500 in chrome and graphite. When I bought Doug, he had 1300 kilometres on him. Lakes over 1500 and some would say over 2000 kilometres to run an Enfield in. There's a strict protocol in the owner's manual. Of how to run it in. And I'll put that up on screen at the moment. But there is a second school of thought. Driven by a number of mechanics and engineers. And moto man on the internet. Particularly a video I watched by Paul Brannock, who has a classic 500, he's an Englishman who lives in Spain, and they all advocate a hard running for Royal Enfield. The gentleman I bought Doug from had meticulously run it in from zero to 1300 by the letter of that schedule. When I picked him up, he vibrated a little bit more than the 2018 Army Green model that I did the review on. Admittedly, that had 2,300 kilometers on it. But that bike had no vibration. Now being a demonstrator, it's not going to have been run in to the letter. Everyone's going to jump on it and do exactly what I did and flog the pants off it to see how well it goes, stops, accelerates, decelerates. And it was significantly smoother than this bike. The previous bikes I've owned I'm a pretty firm believer in running them in how you ride them. And my Triumph Bonneville is super smooth now, just following that principle. So since I've had Doug, In short stints, I've been accelerating pretty hard in second, third and fourth. And then dropping back through the gears to put some pressure on this piston and cylinder. The hard running theory suggest that that will quickly hone the bore of the cylinder and get rid of the micro abrasions and get a nice uniform up and down that will limit the vibration of the engine some suggest that it should be done right from zero. Others from about a thousand kilometers. And it seems to have worked a treat on Doug. He's now considerably smoother than what he was when I bought him. So he's never going to be like a Japanese sport bike. But I pretty firmly believe a hard running schedule going up down the gears towards the top of the rev range in second, third, fourth. removed a lot of the vibrations in those gears. You'll hit a rough spot about 
about two thirds of the way through the rev range and that would be where a lot of people would back off but if you keep revving you don't have to hit the limiter if you sort of get it into what I estimate would be 5,500 or something like that through that and very quickly it seems to disappear it's on you it's your bike your decision I'm just informing you of what I've done and what's worked for me I don't believe it works for an old bike but you could give it a go believe it's utilized just for new bikes and with a thousand kilometers on it he wasn't considered officially running so I thought it was worth a go and it's worked perfectly so guys I will leave a link to Paul Grinook's videos from Spain description so you can take a look at his advice that's what I followed and his bike runs super smooth running pretty smooth now too right through the rev range thing about hard running in an Enfield on a public road <laughs> it's only doing about 100 120 full rev in second third fourth so you're not even really going to be breaking the speed limit but guys my name's all right Taz till next Royal Enfield adventure I'm out